When it comes to getting the vaccine to the age groups after 80 plus, they will be staggered for eligibility over the next few weeks. But the whole situation is quite confusing. Many providers aren't even ready to register people. Tonight, our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, is answering your most common questions. And she joins us now to help sort through this chaos. Monica, so many questions from people. And definitely chaos, Laura. I'm not going to deny that. And I wish I had an answer that fit everybody's specific situation, but there are so many variables to this, and there is no one easy fix. Hoping that changes in the coming weeks, but for now, here's what I can tell you. Many of you asked me about what happens when that next age group is up. So Phyllis says, I'm 72. I registered. Will I get my appointment scheduled next week for the 75 and up group? Well, Phyllis and everybody else, it depends where you've registered because we're limited on vaccine. Some places will not get to the next age group until the previous one is finished. That's why you should register at more than one place to give yourself some options. And each provider manages its own schedule and appointments. And it's estimated it may take up to four weeks just to get through the 80 and up group. So if the state receives a lot more vaccine, we'll be able to get this a lot done, done a lot faster as well. And we took dozens of calls on this one. I don't have a computer, what can I do? Here's the best answer I can give you. Call the United Way's 211 helpline. At the very least, they will be able to put you in contact with your county health department, and some may even walk you through the registration process. Otherwise, you may try contacting your preferred pharmacy or the hospital system that you use and ask if they can give you some assistance as well. And last question, social media caused a lot of you to ask this one. Why are some people allowed to cut in line? Well, no one is allowed to cut in line, but yes, there have been and there will be people getting vaccine outside the designated group. The cases are rare, but the most common reason is that there were extra doses available that would have spoiled if not used. Now, remember, these vaccines are frozen at ultra cold temperatures for delivery and storage and then thawed for injection. And one vaccine goes bad after five days if it's not used. Now, we've heard reports of some states actually throwing vaccine away because it went bad and our health facilities are determined not to let that happen. But they need arms to inoculate. So this is really a good reason not to miss that valuable appointment if and when you get one. So remember, if you can, go to our vaccine guide, wkyc.com slash vaccine. You'll find our comprehensive location guide, including a list to the state's resources. As this information changes, I will do my best to keep you all updated. And as those questions keep coming in, I will try to answer them. But Laura, I am literally getting hundreds. So please be patient with me as well. Yeah, we know so many of you at home have questions. And Monica, we appreciate you sorting through this chaos for us. Thanks, Russ.